Hey guys, today I got a good gameplay, not a great gameplay, but a good gameplay of me getting, uh, I think it was a Kiltrocity, but even though half of it was on AFKs, it's still not that bad because the triple kill no scope is pretty good. But the first thing I want to talk about is I was in a top 10 for sniper kills and I didn't even know, which is kind of funny and cool. And I was number one. It was with that no scope on Spire I have. If you haven't seen that, you might want to look at my uploads for that. But I'll put a link in the description to this guy's top 10. But it's like kind of funny and weird because I never submitted it to him. Maybe he just got it from somewhere else. But I don't know. Uh, but that's pretty cool. And uh, oh yeah, my friend told me that I was in that top 10. He's iFamous Films or Shut Up. Uh, yeah, you should check his channel out. He made a custom Taj with me and it was pretty cool. iFamous Films. Yeah, so... I just think that's kind of weird how, like, out of nowhere I get this guy that puts me in a top 10. I barely missed that whip no scope. So, yeah, a lot of people are talking about Halo 4, and everyone's just talking about how, like, great they think it's going to be. I am not, like, 100%, like, doubtful or optimistic about it. I have confidence in 343, seeing as they had the TU, which really helped out with Reach and brought back a lot more people. But a couple of the things I saw there were kind of, I don't know, I felt like they shouldn't be in there. Like, uh, first example is custom classes. I think that is just going to be like a ripoff of Call of Duty, and almost, almost everything Call of Duty is supposed to be opposite of Halo. So trying to, like, copy Call of Duty is probably not going to work out very well in the long run. So, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about that. And uh, what I'm really excited about is the BR because I, I kind of hate the DMR. Like, I think it was fun at first, but then the more you use it, you realize that it's it's almost too perfect at aiming. Like, the BR in Halo 3, like every single Halo game got better at long range. Like, you think about Halo 1, it had the pistol and it and uh, that was like the only weapon that could even go somewhat long range. But you also had to aim like online. You had to aim a whole like I don't know, few inches ahead of the person to actually hit them. If you aimed at them, it would not even come close to hitting them for some reason. Is kind of like a lag in a way. Because even if you were right next to the person, you would still have to aim like in front of them by a ton. But like. <laughs> it's kind of like in Halo 2 it, it got a bit more accurate but it still sometimes it wouldn't even register so it like, seems like every Halo game got like a bit better at long range and 3 was like you still had to lead your shot a bit so it was kind of like skillful in a way to shoot long range but then in Reach you could just like almost even like spam and hit perfectly right on the person every single time and it seems like that was a little too much because it makes the maps seem much smaller than they are and like a place like Hemard you shouldn't be able to just kill someone across the entire map that easily and you can so yeah that's another thing that I'm kind of excited about the BR and the next thing that I was excited about is that I actually haven't ever like played a Halo game when it came out and been good at it like he here's what i mean when i was about seven i used to go over to my neighbor's house and play halo one all the time and it was awesome my mom never even knew and it's kind of funny because she would probably be mad if i was playing a rated m game when i was seven but i don't really care and it was really fun so i kind of like started to pick up halo 2 like a maybe five years later when i was like 12. I tried to buy an Xbox and I got like the original one. I didn't even get the um, the 360. I don't know. I just didn't feel like spending the money or I didn't have any or something like that. But I used to play Halo 2 split screen with my friends like all the time. And then after a little while, I went to my friend's house and I played Halo 3. And it was just awesome. So I ended up getting an Xbox. I used one. And I don't know. It's just like. It was so awesome, I couldn't even explain it at first. And I think the kill atrocity is coming up, but I'm not sure. That was a barely missed triple, that would have been sick. But, I don't know, then I got my Xbox, I got Halo 3, and then when Reach came out, I played it the day it came out and everything, but I don't know, I was 
still pretty bad at Halo. I started getting like a lot better a few months after Reach came out. So what I'm excited for is going to the midnight release of Halo 4 and coming back with it and being skilled at Halo and being able to play and not like completely suck. Like my first game I went negative one. I mean that's a that's a depressing thing. I didn't want to go negative one in my first game. And it was on Invasion too, so you know, I don't know. But this game I get a ton of kills. Wow, fail. I missed the guy that's not even playing. I think I get like something like 35 kills. I don't even know, but I haven't seen this gameplay yet. Oh, yeah, so pretty excited for Halo 4 because, you know, a new game. But not only is it, is it that it's a new game, it's a new game in the trilogy, which is going to be extremely new because Reach was an extra thing. And I'm so excited for the next installment and a lot of people they seem to like skip over campaign but I don't know as soon as I get the game I like to play campaign or at least like a couple days after I like to just play through the whole thing legendary with my friends it's so fun and it's just like Halo 2 people said it sucked but I don't know maybe just the experience of being with my friends and, and it being Halo made it fun for me but every single Halo game has had an amazing campaign for me I've loved every single one it's been so fun to like go through the levels and be Master Chief and such of the other. Now, in the comments, if I have enough people watching this video that actually leave comments, in the comments, you should tell me if you want to see like more MLG, like going 15 and 3 or something like that. Oh, here's the Kiltrocity now. Ah, I remember. Um, if you want to see more like 15 and 3 kill atrocities, I mean <laughs> kill atrocities, um, MLG gameplay, or if you want to see more like of this, so just killing noobs that aren't even playing, because I, I kind of find both interesting. Maybe you could leave both. I could do both. Fail in the Kilimanjaro. Maybe I could do both. I don't know. You guys decide. Uh, I don't even really care. It's no, it's always fun for me to make a video. So. Yep, and that's pretty much all I got, and the video is about to end, so yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Oh yeah, and one more quick thing before I forget. I just uh, was hearing about a live stream from my friend Zeus, and he was trying to get it to work and such, so I was like, okay, well maybe I should try one. So I tried to do the original like Twitch TV thing, but that didn't work out because I have a Mac. So what I did was I looked up on YouTube like how to live stream and I got one video and figured it all out and such. I'm saying such a lot, but I figured it all out and actually my live streams up sometimes. So if you guys want to check it out, it's livestream.com slash Packercat17. I might put a link in the description. So out.